in a series circuit since current is same in the circuit we use current as a reference and we have vl minus vc as one vector and vr as another vector which we add and get v0 in a parallel circuit since voltage is same across the various elements we use voltage as a reference and add these two vectors ic minus il and ir to get the net current i0 in the circuit so we know that in a parallel circuit the voltage across these remains the same so voltage would be used as a reference vector so we draw the phasor diagram for a series rlc circuit and here we use i as the reference as that is common in the circuit and we know that we find the resultant voltage by adding the vectors vl minus vc and vr so the correct answer would be by adding the vectors So the VL minus VC can be on the positive y axis or the negative y axis depending on the relative size of the inductor or the capacitor. So we draw the phasor diagram for a series RLC circuit and we know that this is phase angle phi will lead or lag depending on vl minus vc now voltage will lag current when vl is less than vc or in a circuit which is acting capacitively cos phi is the power factor and this is r by z so it can have the value here only one or zero in the given options So for a purely inductive circuit r is 0 so the correct answer is 0 so we first find the impedance so notice here that we have represented this in a vector format 1000 ohms plus j which is a vector notation so the impedance is 1780 ohms this is the phase difference in between the voltage and the current now we find voltage across the various elements and we can also verify that the voltage across the source is a sum of voltage across the various elements notice how we have kept the vector notation j for the capacitor and the inductor to denote that these are perpendicular to i r0 so we first find the voltage across the resistance and we then find the net voltage by adding the two vectors vr and vl minus vc this looks like a complex circuit but the idea here is to show you that you can use the concepts of series and parallel resistors in a similar way in these circuits here so here we will first look at this particular circuit and we know that these phasors are opposing each other so we can do 
x12 minus xc1 so which is minus 5j and remember to use the vector notations here so we now have this in parallel with this so that's a next thing we will look at so like in a parallel capacitors we have 1 by x2 is equal to 1 upon x1 by 1 upon xr1 and we do a lot of mathematics to simplify and find x2 and after finding x2 we basically say that this is in series with this net x2 and by adding the two vectors this is the net vector that we get and this is our net impedance in the circuit this is the voltage across the resistance and this is the total source voltage divided by the total impedance we know that in a series rlc circuit the current is the same across all the elements notice the use of the vector notation Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Voltage across the reactive components is I XL minus XC. At resonance, XL minus XC is equal to zero. So the correct answer is C. The current is leading the voltage, so psi is minus 45 degree. So when the inductor is removed, the voltage lacks the current by 30 degrees. Similarly, when the capacitor is removed, the voltage leads the current by 30 degrees. And since VL is equal to VC, VL minus VC is 0, the phase angle is 0 and the power factor is hence equal to 1.